Emit Volume 3, Watashi ni Sayonara, or, or I guess, as, like, saying goodbye to myself. Last time on Emit, I decided to start off the game with Clock Tower music, and I ended up with Yuri getting shot and being presumably dead, so since I apparently have magic powers to control the mood of the game, I've decided to start this one with something rockin', and it's gonna be the title theme for Chuck Rock, which is way too good for a game like that. Let's go. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's rock. Is that a security camera? Was it just Yuri in heaven after she died? She was shot dead. By the other world police. No, nobody knows what that was. Julia. You can tell because she looks mean. Also, she wears red, but you can tell by her face first and foremost. This is gonna have a confrontation then. I'm gonna fight her. Womano a womano. the old guy, young guy's mother decided to come to this world to hook up with another guy. I mean, I know she's kind of a milf, but come on. That's because of how the other world works. It's not really fair, is it? Who's that? Well, it's supposed to be our world because the children are actually being children. I'm being old. I don't know what you're trying to tell me here. This opening doesn't tell me anything. It really does, though, doesn't it? Does it? And his world? The old people are the young people. It's still hilarious. This is the author of this game trying to write the story. This is a sneak peek at the brains of, they, of them like, as, they, as they wrote this. Okay, so they grow younger, and, and time is emit backwards, and Ekans a snake backwards, and, and then they grow younger when they come into this world, and they, others grow older when they go to the other world, like one year at a day, but when one of them is over and the other is not, then it only applies for one of them. Yeah. Emit. Volume 3. Watashi ni sayonara o. Yes. That is exactly a screenshot. No, this is the con- oh my god. I was thinking of Street Fighter before, I'm making a reference, but that lightning, this is- This is- Remind me of that, that, that- What's it called? The, the Field of Fate? Anyway, let's switch over to... The English. How many chapters are there? Thirteen. Well, I mean, we're gonna go from 
maybe six, but we'll see. That's probably going to be a f- perfect cliffhanger again. Also, that's it. So that's what we have. I mean, last time we did five and a half, and then the other seven, and those were much shorter. I don't know. Anyway, chapter one, small suspicion. It's probably going to be the same music as the first two games again. That's usually how it works. Also, uh, English script, please. Three, two, one. Let's go. Something is odd. Late at night, Tanaka Toshiko is alone in the dining room. Toshiko is lost in her thoughts with a cup of tea in her hand. If someone asked her what exactly is so odd, she wouldn't be able to give a satisfactory answer. But she senses there's something wrong and she trusts her intuition. Yuri is Yuri, and yet somehow she is not the person she used to be. For the past few days, Toshigo had, has had this uneasy feeling. I guess we're going not back to like our shot dead Yuri yet. But then Yuri is my daughter. There's no doubt about it. Well, maybe. It's nothing to worry about. As she is ready to go to bed, she hears a knock on the front door. Who is it? Well, it's Ota Ichiro. Oh, Ichiro. I haven't seen you for a long time. What can I do for you? Could I see Yuri, please? She may be asleep. Shall I wake her up? No, that's alright. That would be very awkward. I saw a friend of mine today, and he told me that there seemed to be something odd about Yuri. That worried me. That's why I've come. Ichiro, I've had the same feeling. Somehow Yuri seems different. Really? Yes. But it's nothing serious. Just moody teenagers. Tell me how she's different. What's up, mom? Oh. Oh wait! I, I completely forgot. I was so engrossed in the story that I completely forgot that there's game we have to play. I almost completely forgot. So I didn't even make any safe states. To speed this up. Who is Yuri's mother worried? What? Why is it? What? <laughs> I face plus multiple I always say who. <laughs> Why is Yuri's mother worried about Yuri? See, because she can't change her habits. She's gone to the other world, she doesn't know that. She's different. That's it. That's very simple. Okay, I mean, we just thought we haven't done anything yet. Chapter 2, she's not Yuri? What? 3, 2, 1. Yuri, Ichiro's here. Hi, Ichiro. The party was fun the other day, wasn't it? That's how he knows. Yep, that's not the same one. Yes, it was. I see you're still awake. You too. Why don't you come up to my room? Sure. He follows her. From the bottom of the stairs, Toshiko looks after them worriedly. Make yourself at home. What brought you here so late at night? 
with your broad ass shoulders, Yuri lets Ichiro in and sits down on her bed. Well, do you remember the book I lent you? I'd like it back if you could find it. I need it. What book? What was it about? Egyptian history. You said it was interesting. Oh, yes. Yes, it was. But where did I put it? I have a look for it, but I'm but not tonight, I'm afraid. That's okay. I have other books. Sorry to have bothered you so late. That's alright. I guess I must be going. See ya. Good night. Good night. Ichiro leaves her room and goes downstairs. Yuri sits on her bed motionless. Lee. Teaching her correctly. How was she? That's not Yuri. His words make Toshiko gasp! Oh, did I pause? Okay, I, I made the safe stain like a fraction of a second before that came up. Whew. Come here to check out. Who lent a book on Egyptian history? Nobody, it was a trick. But this is comprehension checkup, not guess what's gonna happen. Ichiro lent it to Yuri, or, or at least so he claimed. How did Ichiro know that the girl was not Yuri? Well, first, she remembered being, like, she brought up, oh, hey, it was nice to be you at the party when the real Yuri didn't even remember that because it wasn't her. I mean, I was, hey, but this is not... No, I think it's the other way around because she claimed to remember it even though it didn't happen. And that's, of course, they didn't do it that way. Well, no, it has to be because they... Because he didn't actually meet Yuri again until the bookstore, right? They barely talked to each other. So that's not that... That can't be it. It had to be a thing. Anyway, I guess we'll have Maybe they bring it up here. It's hard to believe that she isn't my daughter Yuri. <laughs> that face. Who is the girl upstairs who looks like Yuri? Well, this is... If you played the first game, you would know definitely. Another Yuri from another world. The other world? I can't imagine any other world. The where's the real Yuri? What? <laughs> okay, so she isn't the real Yuri. What do you think I should do with a false Yuri upstairs? Do the same thing the other world did with yours. Fucking shoot her. Call the police. Check Yuri for scars from her childhood. I mean, that wouldn't matter. That would only confirm. Ask for more, more questions. Yeah, it sounds easy. I'll just go and check around. Oh, I guess good. Like safe state. <clears throat> the last letter. Three, two, one. Does Yuri have a lookalike? Yes. I once told Yuri about her lookalike. I wasn't joking. Other other look alike I met at the party, it's right upstairs. Ichiro and Toshiko are talking in the kitchen. They are careful not to be heard from upstairs. But then where's Yuri? Oh my goodness, what shall I do? I wish my husband was here. I have to know what she's done to Yuri. Yes, we've got to find out. I'm sure Yuri is alright. She wasn't shot or something. That would be ridiculous. What if something happens to Yuri? Ichiro, will you come upstairs with me? 
Sure. They leave the kitchen and go upstairs to Yuri's door. Toshiko holds her breath. I'm coming in. She flings the door open. Cold air rushes out. The window's open. <clears throat> She's gone. She got away. I can't see her. I should have questioned her when I had the chance. Look, Ichiro. It's a letter. Dear Ichiro and Yuri's mother, I knew someday you would find out, but that day came way too soon. When Ichiro told me he had lent me a book, I realized that he knew I wasn't Yuri. He would have asked me over the phone if he had only wanted the book. I can't stay in this house anymore. But I don't want to leave this world. Someday I'll... The letter's not finished. She must have heard us coming and run away. She must be still around. Yes, but what on earth has happened to Yuri? That girl must know. They rush downstairs up to the, out the front door and part right and left. They run off in search of the Yuri Stucker like. Of the Yuri Stucker like. Of the look like. Of you. Nah, no, that's not correct. I was thinking maybe you just look like it's like a thing. No, it doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. It's the same thing I found. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay, well, never mind. No, keep going. We're done. Going home. Tell the world I'm going home. Let the rain wash away. Oh, there's something of yesterday or something. A little after. A little later after they leave. I can't read today. Jesus Christ. Mom? The real Yuri comes into the house. Into the house. Mom? She struggles to take her shoes off. Stags into the living room and falls onto the sofa. Bleeding profusely. All over the cushions. Ouch! She grimaces. In the other world, she had been caught in the rain and shot at during the escape. The bullet grazed her right arm. Ah, okay. So, so it's fine. It's not a serious wound, but it's bleeding, but it aches too. But now she's back home. Yuri's so overcome with relief and fatigue that she can hardly move. That was a short one. See, we comprehend this. The recap. Who was pretending to be Yuri? Wow, that has nothing to do with with understanding this chapter, does it? <laughs> That's from the last game. <laughs> That's Ken's mother. Jeez. That's mean to ask that. Yeah. Chapter 5, Showdown. It's been early for that, isn't it? Oh, we have the showdown. Final boss. The feeling of relief makes her sleepy. She suddenly remembers the other girl. Yuri's almost forgotten about her. How, how could you? What happened to her? She opens her eyes. She finds a look like looking down at her. 
Could it be a dream? For a second, Yuri's not sure. Then she realizes that the girl's about to attack her by raising a sharp knife on her hand. Jesus Christ! Stop it! Stop it! No! <laughs> this is supposed to be a lighthearted story, but it would be helpful in English. Don't. What the fuck? <laughs> Please, no attempted murder in our, like, school aids or something. Yuri cries out and dodges the blow! She jumps to her feet. What are you doing? I'm just trying to learn English. God damn it. I didn't even comprehend this mess. Why did the Yuri's look like try to kill Yuri? I don't know. I was supposed to comprehend that. Uh, well, I guess the first one. But she just ran away, so she can't. She can't stay in this world place of Yuri because they figured it out. It doesn't work that way anymore. The plan failed. Where did Yuri come back from? The grocery store. From the other world. Guess who's going to die? I managed to get back to my own world at last. What do you think I should do about my experience of being shot? <laughs> what do you think I should do about my experience of being shot? <laughs> well, what you should do about being shot is go to the hospital. But what you should do about the experience of being shot? Uh, remember it? What else are you going to do with that experience? You can remember it or you can forget about it. Tell only your family and your friends about it. Use everything as a nightmare. No, let's not start a trans-dimensional war. I think it's better if we just bury it. It simply could be too much for that. But what else is there to do? I don't know. This is honestly a weird question to ask here. Yeah, yeah. Chapter 6 Persuasion. Per the uh. I'm just double checking. Yes. Is there a spelling with T that's legit? No. It's not. It is, it is not. That is the third mistake. I mean, I'm sure the first two games also had some. It's probably not perfect. But at least I didn't notice them. This is like the third time. What happened? I'm getting sloppy. The third game here. Why did you come back? Wait. You're Julia, aren't you? Yuri calls her by the name by which she's known in the other world. How do you know my name? You met my son, didn't you? Ken is worried about you. Please go back. You're his mother, aren't you? Meeting other men in my world here. It's too late. It's not too late. You can go back through the tunnel. You know Ken is waiting, don't you? I... I want to stay in this world. Why? Everything is in reverse for you in this world. But it makes more sense. I... Julia gasps. She throws open the sliding door and runs out into the yard. Here you are! It's a police guy, isn't it? 
What did you do to, what did you do to Yuri? Oh no. Oh. Oops. Ichiro, it's me. I'm Yuri. Don't lie to me! Out! Are you hurt? I've been shot! Let me go! Ah... Your clothes are different. I'm... I've been shot! You, are you really Yuri? Ask me again and I'll punch you! Okay, okay, you, you here. I can tell. He raises his hand to protect his head. Jeez. Man, we didn't get any answers. It was supposed to be a showdown, but we didn't get any answers. How did Yuri know that Yuri's lookalike was Julia? I mean... I would not start to assume that there's a third lookalike, you know? <laughs> Duh. Because Yuri met her once before, but even if she didn't, it would be pretty obvious. When? Is it because- what? Yuri heard from Kendra in this world? I mean, you knew that, though. He didn't have to tell you that. You knew about that. It's... What? Also, even if he didn't tell you, it would be fucking obvious, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's, it's not like you would have to know her to recognize her. You have to know yourself to recognize her. That's all it takes. Who's waiting for Julia in the other world? Ken. Also, some police officers who think you broke into the office trying to get through the tunnel illegally. Again, apparently. Ken and prison is waiting for you. Is there anything else? No. How far along are we? Let's do one more. What's happening? I don't know. Oh, this is, this is the next day then, isn't it? Okay, okay, this is... Okay, no, no, no. Next time, on Mid Volume 3, we find out what's happening. That's... That's, that's like a specific... I thought... We'd, they were gonna keep talking about that. You know, but no, we skip ahead. So next time, we will continue there. Until then...